Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today is day 30 of 3D Printmas. Holy crap, I cannot believe we've made it this far. Um, and I've tried to save the best for last. And I think this is the second to last. There might be a video coming tomorrow. So you guys already know what this is. It is a Dragon Ball. And more specifically, the four-star Dragon Ball. Now, I've wanted to do something like this for a very long time because I absolutely love Dragon Ball Z. Um, one of my favorite animes, and it's actually kind of what got me into anime when I was quite a bit younger. And really the reason I hadn't done this um, was because I knew that this would be very difficult for my wife. The model itself is very easy. Um, I had created it in Fusion 360, I just created a sphere, and then um, took four stars, uh, I had it like this, I extruded them up, intersected them with this main sphere, and then just pulled them up about a millimeter, um, so they are actually physically um, detailed on the ball here. And then I cut it in half so it could print in two halves, um, and you wouldn't need supports making the bottom side very gnarly. And I warned my wife about this ahead of time, and you're creating something like this that comes from a TV show, and not only a TV show, a ton of different um, sources like video games, multiple TV series, um, and you know, a lot of them have different styles of artwork, and especially the Dragon Balls always look different. So that can be to your advantage and it can also be to your disadvantage. But I knew this would be a challenge for my wife because not only did she have to hide a seam all the way around what's on what's basically a perfect sphere, um, she had to make it look really, really glossy. And I think she did a phenomenal job. I think it's just called Repair Putty. We got it at our local hobby store. And she basically just um, spreads it into the cracks here and then um, does a ton of sanding, a ton of filler primer, repeats the process a few times, and eventually you get to the point where you can't see a seam. And I don't know firsthand, but from listening to her, it's not very easy to do that. And then, of course, um, she sprayed on the orange color here. I believe she painted on the stars with just a paintbrush. And then she sprayed it a crap ton with a very glossy coat. And that got us to where we are right here. So this is the four-star Dragon Ball, which if you've seen Dragon Ball Z, you know that the four-star is a very important Dragon Ball. And I cannot explain to you guys how happy um, it makes me that I'll be able to put a Dragon Ball on the shelves back here. Now, of course, you can print one of these for yourself, and it really is just in two pieces, so you can scale it um, however you want. Um, links to the files are down in the description. You'll have to let me know if you guys like this type of thing. Um, I plan to do a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff in the future um, once my skills get to a level that I can accommodate that type of thing. But I figured this was a great place to start. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me in Printmas. And like I said, there might be a video tomorrow. I actually don't know. I've recorded this a few days ahead of time. We're st at the time of recording, we're still working on that last model. Um, so I can't promise that it will be here tomorrow. I'll actually cut right here to my future self, so I'll probably have different clothes and a little bit messier hair or something, um, letting you know what tomorrow will bring. Alright, future Garrett here, and I don't know that I have much more of an answer for you. I believe that the model will be ready tomorrow. Um, the main issue with this one, as I stated before, is it's quite a, it's quite a complex build compared to my normal stuff. Um, it's a lot bigger, and actually the real issue with it was that um, it fell off of a table at one point and broke into 100 pieces that my wife had previously glued and filled the seams of, so she had to repeat all that work, and it's harder because there was glue residue and stuff that she had to remove. Um, so she's very close to having it done, but I don't want to put the pressure on her to absolutely have it done for tomorrow. So there will be a video tomorrow. Um, I just can't guarantee it'll be a model video. I think it will, but either way you'll get a video, and if, if the model doesn't come out tomorrow, it'll come out in a couple weeks when we've actually finished it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.